exchange uh, the summit at, uh, of course in Paris uh, day two let's uh, talk to uh, Alex Chamoda to bring us up to speed with what's happening there after yesterday's statements or presentations by heads of state and government, you may be asking, so what next at the Paris Conference on Climate Change? There's so much that will be happening for the next 10 days. For example, there are ongoing exhibitions in the area of innovation and climate change. There are informal meetings and there will be technical groups that will be discussing technical areas related to climate change. For example, the role of transport in climate change, uh, knowing very well that transportation is a key contributor to emissions that contribute to global warming. There is the area of food security, the impact on agriculture and how to deal with global warming in that sector. There is the area of energy. This is a key sector and many nations have already given their commitments on how to improve the use of green energy or what is called clean energy. For example, solar power, wind energy and geothermal power. Experts in various fields, the civil society and government organizations will also be making their presence felt here. Another important aspect of this conference is the role of the business community, that any future businesses must be environment friendly. And on that note, let me introduce what President Uhuru Kenyatta told the gathering of 150 leaders yesterday, that there is an upcoming WTO ministerial conference in Nairobi, and this will be a key opportunity to try and link business and clean energy. This will be the last of the multilateral conferences in 2015 and the first ever WTO ministerial to take place in Africa. I would like to take this opportunity to call on my distinguished fellow leaders to work with your trade ministers to help ensure a successful outcome in Nairobi, which clearly demonstrates the positive role that trade can play in helping us achieve sustainable development, including through facilitating the trade of renewable energy products and other climate-friendly technologies. By 9th December, it is expected that negotiations will have ended and a possible pact on how to curb emissions to be signed on December the 11th. For now, that's all from Paris. I'm Alex Chamada for KTN News.